Welcome back to Let's Play Snow Bros. When I hit the end recording button last time, I accidentally reloaded my state and got two one-ups twice in a row when I was uh, doing the slot machine after that, so I stuck with it the second time. I promise it won't impact the result. Alright, and we got some pretty fun uh, music for this stage, or at least I think so. Oh goodness. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that whole falling out the top of the screen thing. It can be both used and abused. Wordplay. So, these enemies are a lot like the, um, I don't know, generic enemy from everywhere else in the game. The only difference is they're angry, yeah, and they do that Superman attack, which apparently I can't throw snowballs through. I seem to recall there being like owl or bat, yeah, bat enemies. They're uh, they're actually a bit of trouble. I didn't hit anyone. Oh goodness. That could have ended a lot worse than it did, eh? Alright. Two stages down. This is, like, we're on the end gauntlet. Like, we're going to the end of the game now. It's, uh, not exactly long. That's what she said. Alright. Good talk, everybody. Looks like Pumpkin Man I had a hard time finding me. That's okay with me. Pumpkin Man terrifies me. And by no small amount. Oh, That was actually a pretty brutal way for my, uh, for Nick or Tom to die. I kind of like how angry and powerful these new, uh, generic enemies are. Also, I kind of like... It appears these enemy, these bat enemies have a fake mustache on. I think that's actually pretty hilarious. Fake mustaches are awesome. Alright. Good stage, everybody. Uh, should I go for it? Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. That didn't really work, because, uh, awesome aggression, as I was hoping for. I was hoping it was, like, gonna be really badass, and you'd all be like, Holy crap, I can't believe he had the courage to do that. He's a role model. But, uh, you know, I got some candy out of it. And turbo feet! So slow! There we go. Oh, there went turbo feet. One thing I struggle with in this game is a lot of the time I look kind of generally where I want to fall up top and I just sort of go through the nearest hole after that. This is a terrible idea. You should really try flying it up. It's not hard. You just have to look straight up. All right, this is interesting. I saw it coming and I did nothing. Alright, we're gonna try this. We're gonna rematch it. <laughs> we're gonna rematch it again, because I don't learn from mistakes. I only have three continues left. This is actually gonna be quite tight. Thirty thousand. Wow, that was a lot of points. Okay, so that's just like super point land. Is the green potion. Or no, the green one's that what makes your head big. I don't really know what I picked up to do that. Maybe all my points were sevens or something. 
some crazy and lucky like that. Let's fall down the hole and no. This has been horribly disappointing for getting power-ups. Fortunately, in the last uh, fight in the game, which is coming very soon, um, it's really easy to get blue and red power-ups. As established, the yellow long-range one, it's kind of rare. Alright. Alright, we're going... <sighs> Come on, that was pretty badass, right? Yeah, I'm not going to be getting that lollipop. Alright, final boss. This is it, everybody. This is the end of the game. Now, they emit bubbles. The blue ones have larvae, enemy larvae in them. You want to just pop them and roll them into the enemy. This is, I think, King Scorch or something. It's hard. Oh yeah, and the red ones. You steer clear of those. Like, like what just happened there. If you were, say, in a bubble floating above, you might want to wait until it was not suicide to, you know, step and stuff. That blue one would have been nice. Oh goodness. You're actually kind of safe if you stand really near them. For some reason, the bubbles have a hard time hitting you. Or at least sometimes they do. Might be one of those obscure NES things, although I doubt it. The NES has all sorts of great things about it. Like, you can only have a fixed number of, uh... Fixed number of sprites on any given line. So, a lot of the time you get this weird drawing issue. Where there's more than... I think it's nine or eight you can only have on a line. It's worth knowing that you can't throw snowballs through those. If you had a Let's Player playing this game, you should probably have him tell you that right at the beginning, rather than discovering it partway through. Alright, I've gotten quite a few hits in. I feel like I should be making some progress here. This would be a bad situation. Oh no. I'd like to take one of them out, but I don't really know which one's closer to death right now. Yeah, one of the fun things is if you land on a snowball, often it'll roll straight into them. So, like, you're drop-kicking it. I do a lot of drop-kicking in my free time. Alright. Would have been nice to get that red one, but that's alright. There we go. We burned out his eyes and then blew them up. So that statue's dead. This is King Scorch. I don't really get it, but it is. He's got the princesses. What more evidence do I need? Or maybe they don't kill King Scorch. Personally, I feel like King Scorch is too dangerous to be left alive. Come on. We're running. We've got a Let's Play time schedule to keep here, buddy. Drop kick. I refuse to use another continue. That's my pledge to you, the audience. There we go. Snow bros complete. I could probably kill myself on that fire. Now it looks like there's only... Alright. After a vicious battle, period... Nick and Tom finally rescued the twin 
princess is. Who are smiling? Terry and Tina. Good story. Oh, what an I ideal view. It's called Whiteland, and I believe our sub kingdom or whatever is called Snowland. Maybe they were supposed to be the same place, I don't know. Okay, we didn't kill King Scorch, we we're just taking out his minions. We banished them. You are weak. To the Crystal Mountains and then returned to the Kingdom of Whiteland. Dude, he turned you into a snowman and sacked your entire kingdom. I really don't know if banishing him to where he just came from is a good idea. Alright. This is pretty much the end. Yep, that's the end. And this is the end of our time. It's been good hanging out with you guys. I'll see you next time when I do a Let's Play. I was Get Daved.